I flew for many years, uh, a lot of it with Goodyear, in fact most of it with Goodyear. Uh, been in the airship business for 35 years in all aspects of it, about 5,000 hours uh, uh, flight time. And uh, when it came time to retire from Goodyear, I was looking around for uh, something uh, that I could apply my experience to and uh, I come across the USLT airship, pro airship program. and. Uh, they had a blimp here that uh, really attracted me because uh, uh, its uh, performance and design was something uh, I probably would have uh, designed way back uh, when I first started. Uh, it's very easy to, to handle uh, as compared to some of the other ships which uh, have the rudder pedals and the uh, elevator wheels and uh, it takes a lot of muscle to work it over. This ship, uh, you can fly it literally with your fingertips. The uh, blimp is powered by a, a Lycoming uh, IO 540K 2A5 engine, which is the same engine uh, that's in Cherokee 6. Uh, it's, I believe it has an 1800 hour uh, before overhaul time, so you can get a lot of flying in. Um, the rest of the uh, airship is uh, basically uh, maintenance free. There's very little uh, maintenance has to be done on it. We've had uh, a couple of missions with uh, Naval Research Labs. They could fly just above the water without disturbing the air or the water surface or anything. Uh, whereas a helicopter would have a downwash or if a ship would have a bow wake uh, to uh, mess up the data that they're trying to gather. What we did is where we upgraded the materials for 1990 use is we used a very uh, sophisticated fabric to build the hull. We then kept a core structure that was very, very similar to, again, uh, aircraft that are flown all over the United States. The interior components, the control system, and everything is based on readily accessible parts. Uh, it's easy to maintain and easy to uh, basically service anything that you need on the airship. This aircraft meets or exceeds all ultimate safety limits as required by the FAA. Well, it's probably the most bizarre application of the technology ever, um, but it's also the uh, ultimate application of the technology. Fiber optics is very lightweight. Um, it offers supreme color rendition. And uh, with the resolutions that we can create, uh, once you get it up in the sky, there's nothing like it. The airship is a classic example of getting high intensity photographs in places you could never get them before. I think this thing will go flying across and people are just going to say, what is this? And they're going to look at this thing and go, I didn't think this was possible. I've had people stop me on the streets uh, when the blimp's been flying, uh, literally getting out of their cars to ask me, how the heck do you do that? Uh, it's fiber optics, it's amazing. You won't see better color. But what we do is we put pictures in the sky. Nobody else can do that. We can put you over, uh, over the Super Bowl. We can put you over the Olympics. We can follow the World Cup around the United States as it travels from city to city. We can make you the premier sponsor of any event. It's something that will definitely hold people's attention. And it will introduce advertising in a way that's never been introduced before.